I'm Abby Pelkasler-Godin. I'm Connor Baker. And we're your hosts for NBC this week. So Connor, how was your week? Um, it's, it was nice coming back from a very hearty and very happy thanks, Thanksgiving. It was a, it was a gobbling good time. Yeah, I'm, I think, yeah. I'm, I'm ready for break. Yeah, I think we all needed that break, but I'm definitely ready for, for winter break too. I could agree with that. So do you want to get started with the news? Let's do it. The MK Gandhi Institute for Nonviolence will be holding an interactive workshop on nonviolence this Friday, November 30th, from noon to 3 p.m. If you are interested in, in attending, please contact Pervi Parikh at muhlenberg.edu to register. Senior portraits for the 2019 Carlo Yearbook can, be so can still be scheduled up until next Friday, December 7th. To schedule your portrait, please visit Prestige website, ouryear.com. Enter Muhlenberg's code 19 if you have any other questions about getting your senior portrait taken. Please contact Carla at muhlenberg.edu. Now, out of the Muhlen bubble. On Monday, NASA's Mars InSight lander landed on Mars, where it will spend the next few years on a mission. Photos have been successfully taken and shared back to us here on Earth. On Tuesday, Steven Hillenberg, the creator of the beloved Nickelodeon cartoon SpongeBob SquarePants, died at the age of 57 from ALS, or Lou Gehrig's disease. Hillenberg's love for marine biology inspired him to create the worlds of Bikini Bottom, with SpongeBob, SpongeBob airing for the first time in 1999. That's all for news. Now to Connor with sports. Thanks, Avertel. Muhlenberg's women's basketball defeated Dickinson at Dickinson in their Colonial Conference opener 53-47 this past week. Junior Emily Benson scored 12 points and drained three three-pointers in the fourth quarter to help, Muh help Muhlenberg with the win. They are 4-0 and 1-0 for the conference for the fourth time in six years, and they have held all their opponents to less than 50 points. They play Bryn Mawr up next on November 27th at home at 7.30 p.m., followed up by another home matchup against Washington College this Thursday at home at 7 p.m. The men's basketball team lost in their Colonial Conference opener on the road to also Dick Dickinson, 101-63. Freshman Dan, Dan Gaines and sophomore Michael Morell scored double figures for 16 and 15 points respectively. Freshman Nate Brown finished with seven points and nine rebounds. The men will face off against Haverford this Thursday at Haverford, PA at seven o'clock PM, followed up by a matchup on Saturday on the road against McDaniel at 2 PM. This past Saturday, the Muhlenberg football team defeated Randolph McCone 35 to six at Scotty Wood Stadium. Sophomore Nick Sarico returned a 74 yard interception with about eight minutes left in the fourth quarter to clinch the game for them. Muhlenberg's record is now 11-1, which ties the school record with their 11th win. They will play against the undefeated and top-ranked and defending champion Mount Union this Saturday in the quarterfinals of the NCAA Division III at noon. Good luck to all the athletes playing this week. Now over to Heather with the weather. Thanks, Connor. On Thursday, it's going to be partly cloudy with a high of 43, a low of 29, and a 0% chance of rain. Moving on to Friday, we have showers, high of 42, a low of 33, and a 40% chance of rain. Again on Saturday, showers, high of 44, low of 42, and 90% chance of rain. And on Sunday, your raincoats are getting a lot of use this week, a uh, high of 60, low of 44, and a 40% chance of rain. Moving into Monday, once again, we're partly cloudy with a high of 50, low of 35, and a 20% chance of rain. And the Tuesday, we've got the wintry mix with a high of 43, low of 33, and a 40% chance of rain. Finally, on Wednesday, we're back to partly cloudy, high of 40, low of 30, and 20% for chance, 20 chance of rain. Back to you guys. Thanks, Heather, with the weather. That's all we have today for a very special NBC broadcast. I'm Connor Baker. And I'm Avi Kalkasla-Godin. Stay classy, mules.